When a new version of ByteCAD Pro is released, a lot of people ask about the process of copying preferences over from earlier versions. There's a video detailing these steps at ByteCAD.ca updating ByteCAD Pro. Although this video strives to explain how all these steps are strictly optional, for those that feel uncomfortable copying files around, I think it's worth demonstrating how an alternative approach could also work. First thing to take comfort in is the fact that any ByteCAD models you created in the old version of ByteCAD are still going to be on your system, and they will read into the new version of ByteCAD just as they did before. If this is your primary concern, then no further action is required. Moving beyond that, it is simple to re-enter a lot of preferences from scratch. If you've added a logo to your title block, simply choose View Customize and click the Add button in the Builder Info section. If you open an old model that happens to contain a standard handlebar that you have not yet added to your library of standard parts, you'll be told about this and given the option to add the part to your handlebar library. Clicking Yes is all that's required. If you click No, the handlebar will simply be brought in as a custom handlebar. If you have set up dimension templates, maybe one to show all the dimensions you want for building the frame, and another for displaying the basic dimensions to share with a customer, an alternative to manually copying files from one configuration folder to another is simply reading in a drawing that has one of these arrangements of dimensions displayed, and selecting File, Save Template, Dimensions. For many, this will be less trouble than sorting through configuration files.